All right, so you've been working with manifestation for a little while and you are a whiz at finding loose change on the street. But what's it gonna take for you to make the big stuff start happening in your life? Let's talk about five manifestation hacks that will help improve your manifesting ability quickly and easily. Hi, I'm Marna and thank you for joining me. So as we practice manifestation, we get better at it. And a lot of people start off with little teeny manifestations just to see if this really works or not or if we're just fooling ourselves now how many times can you stumble over a quarter on the sidewalk before you realize that you really are manifesting that money into your life how long can you see how many times can you see a specific car drive by before you realize that yes that is the car that you were thinking about and you did manifest seeing it all of these little things are signs from the universe telling you that yes you are on the right track you are manifesting these things into your life just maybe not quite in the way that you wanted to i mean it's one thing to watch a tesla drive by on the road it's another thing entirely to be the person driving it right right so let's talk about a few hacks to help beef up your manifestation a little bit and go from just seeing to actually being in the life that you want now, the first thing you have to do is recognize the manifestations you're already doing. When you find that quarter on the sidewalk, thank the universe. Have an air of gratitude about it. Get pumped up. The universe just gave you free money. How exciting is that? Sure, it may not have been a $100 bill this time, but it's proof of concept. The universe put that money into your path to show you that yes, you really did call it in. You energetically aligned yourself with the vibration of that money. So that money appeared in your life. How cool is that? Uh, I know you've heard the concept of seeing is believing. There you go. You're seeing it. Start believing in it now. It is there in front of you. So yeah, as you see these smaller manifestations happening in your life, make sure you stay aware of them and make sure you get excited about them. Use this to raise your vibration. Use this to convince yourself that yes, this really is happening and you're not just making it up. Now the, the second hack, focus on what you want. It does not do you any good at all to just sit there and, and airily say, oh, I'm manifesting a million dollars into my life. Because what does a million dollars actually mean for you? Does a million dollars mean you have more zeros in your bank account? Because trust me, you've got an infinite supply of zeros at the front right now. Or does the million dollars mean that you have the financial freedom to live the life that you've been desiring? Does it mean that you can travel and see the world? Does it mean that you can pay off all your bills? Does it mean you can pay off your mom's house? Does it mean that you have a financial stake? What does your desired manifestation actually mean to you? The clearer you are on this, the more focused you are on the manifestation you want, not how you think you're going to get there, but what you actually want, the sooner that manifestation will appear in your life because the sooner you'll come into energetic alignment with that expression of the universe. I know you've been overthinking it. Time to let go. And that's the next point. Hack number three, let go of your limiting beliefs. Let go of the so-called reality focused area of your brain that's sitting there saying, this isn't really happening you're imagining all this let go of that inner critic that is telling you that you can't do this that this is all just hoopla and you know people deluding themselves the more you hang on to that version of reality the more you're going to be living in that version of reality and really who wants to live there where everything is dull and nothing ever happens you discovered manifestation because the universe believes you have the ability to do this. You need to believe in yourself. Believe that that ability exists. Believe that you can energetically draw in the life you want in order for it to happen. Let go 
of all the limitations that sit there and go, well, there's no way because there is always a way. You just don't see it right now. So that was number three. Yeah. Manifestation hack number four, do the work. I know I've been talking about energetically aligning and that should be the work, right? Not quite. Energetic alignment includes making sure that there is space in your life for what you're trying to manifest. If you are trying to manifest a new person in your life, declutter your house so that the person has room to sit down when they show up. If you're trying to manifest a raise at work, show your bosses why you're worth it so that they will have the energetic room to give it to you. There is absolutely no way that you can manifest anything and everything if you are not willing to put in the effort. If you're just sitting on your sofa in a lotus, a fake lotus position going, oh, I'm going to bring in more money. Oh, I'm going to bring in more money. Oh, I'm going to bring in more money. Enjoy making a nice dent on your sofa because that's all you're actually going to accomplish. You must create the environment to welcome in your manifestation. That means if you're manifesting a better house to live in, that you have not only pictured what that house is going to be and where it's going to be, but you are ready that when it comes up, you can move on it. When it comes open, you are ready to jump up and take advantage of the opportunity instead of just letting the opportunity slide by because it wasn't easy enough. This derails a lot of people and I don't wanna see it derail you. I wanna see you succeed in your manifestations. Manifestation hack number five, you might have to get rid of some of the folks in your life. If there are people in your life who are constant negative influences, people in your life who are constantly bringing your vibration down, who are constantly making you doubt yourself, who are constantly creating a toxic environment, then it is up to you to have the strength to say, this is not healthy for me. And it is up to you to have the strength to walk away from it. By removing negative energy, you are opening up space for positive energy to come in. It's hard, it can hurt, but it is the best way to welcome in the energy and the life that you're trying to manifest. So I'm Marna, thank you for joining me.